What is up YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. Today in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to put clothing onto your mannequin. And in this video, I'm going to be using a mannequin that I made in one of my older videos, the how to create a character with food objects video. I'm going to use that mannequin to help you create this from this. And so it's going to be wild, but let's jump right into it. So creating clothing for your character can be actually a very difficult thing when it comes to the planning stage. Um, debating what your character is going to be can be quite a struggle. For me, I just had to do some fan art of one of my favorite video game characters. Her name is Gum from a very popular game called Jet Set Radio Future. And yeah, but creating your character's outfit is always the hardest decision. So if mine, hers is very simple. She's wearing this really long... Uh, dress or skirt and so um, she's revealing some cleavage and it's very easy for something like this to draw for fan art but when you're creating your own character it can become very difficult because planning is always the hardest thing if you want to create yourself like a warrior in armor or some futuristic person wearing futuristic armor or wearing some skin tight space suit or just someone wearing casual clothing um, it can really differentiate itself depending how you want to do it but let's jump into it so with my character I'm gonna start off by drawing a dress or her skirt thing which pretty much covers her entire body's one-piece outfit and um, it's a very simple outfit but you have to know where certain parts of the outfit leaves the body and where certain parts of the outfit is pretty much skin tight so around the waist area for a dress it would be more skin tight versus where her legs are at near her crotch area where the skirt or the dress would flare out a little bit more and have a bit more leg room in between the actual leg and the dress so you have to really play yourself um, and figure out how you want it to be positioned based off of your mannequin and with mine she's more of just a standing forward type body so it's very simple very easy to just draw things like that and one of my challenges with this character was drawing the her her open cleavage part on her breasts uh, I actually ended up editing her breasts to making them just a little bit bigger just a little bit out there and um, it worked out really well for me but uh, make sure you also figure out how you want your character's body to be with the clothing if you want to be revealing or not revealing and one thing i cannot stress enough do not forget to add clothes creases or wrinkles because it really does add a lot of emphasis to the character when you do that if you just do something real basic like a uh like like, like, like let's say a t-shirt with no creases at all no stretch creases if the character's leaning then there should be some creases if you leave it blank then it might look a little unproportionate it might look a little stale not organic and so that's something you're going to want to do and with my character um, i really just started freehanding it i had a reference photo of what the character looked like in game and it's a little bit difficult for me because the in game character is this blocky cell shaded character versus my curvy more organic style character i'm drawing right here but um that is always just the fun of creating your character and for my character, I'm going to say it right now, again, always say it, I am not good at drawing feet. So I'm going to chop off her feet later on in the video, just no feet, just chop her off by the kneecaps, and it'll look better in my opinion. But do not forget to add flair to your character. As you see here, I'm giving her some big humongous bracelets, if you want to call them, maybe they're hand warmers or whatever. I don't know what they're called, the things you put on your arms, the sweat, sweat things, I don't know. I'm giving those to her, armbands. Uh... This character, she wears a helmet in game, so I'm also going to give her a helmet later on. Um, and you really just want to rough sketch it out. As you see, I'm doing here, I have my opacity down, and I'm just rough sketching out this outfit. I'm not preparing for anything for finalization yet because everything is still in the air. Everything can be edited, deleted, or changed or rearranged. And it's just something you gotta do. Um, as you see here, a lot of basic shapes come into form. Like, for example, with this girl, she wears rollerblades, rocket power rollerblades, if you will. And so knee pads are a must, you must put them on. And so you have to think about what your character is gonna be doing, uh, what's the setting. And like I said, my character is just a fan art character based off the video game. And so it's very simple for me to just figure out what's happening. Cause I played the game and beat it and I know a lot about it. So it's very simple for me, but when you're just freehanding it completely, um, just 
and you had it planned out what you want to do. You really want to figure out how you want these clothes to be positioned. And you don't want to forget little details here and there. Um, for example, let's say you drew a woman in armor and you had to draw her bracers on her kneecaps like I did for my knee pads for my character. You also have to draw the bands that are holding it together. So you don't want to forget about anything like that. And a really good thing too, if you have symbols and stuff that you have to draw on your character, for example, like me, she has some Japanese writing on her, her shirt or whatnot, I decided to just rough sketch it out on the side, just so I have something to look at. And I have a, a, a way to place it when I feel like placing it in the proper place, as you see here what I did. Um, and for the heads, the heads is always a complicated piece for any image based on the way your character's looking, uh, the angle, and, you know, angle really does play a huge role so you just want to figure out how you want to do your character my character i did a simple straightforward look at me um, style image and her hair is very simple since most of her hair is covered up by her helmet for me but uh in other cases for example if you're drawing someone like uh like, like i said a warrior or some futuristic person if, depending if they have long hair or short hair you really want to play around uh usually hair is a very difficult piece when you're doing the, the added details of your character be just because it's not easy and um hair can get very complicated and it can be <clears throat> way out of range real quickly so make sure you just take your time don't rush through it and just have some fun and um i say this in pretty much every single one of my videos but make sure you have fun with what you're doing take your time breathe a little bit because if you just rush right through it then you're gonna find mistakes here and there things unproportionate you have to go back and redo it and it just take more time so it's best if you just take your time the first time and just enjoy it while you're doing it have a lot of fun but uh, that's pretty much it for the sketching process of the whole video I'm now gonna start the outlining portion and that's just like the most simplest thing ever you just create a brush and you start outlining it and you make sure you add proper emphasis on the strokes make sure that it's bolded the right amount and yeah now I'm gonna speed it up let's do this thing but it's your boy Domus here at Common Sense Graphics hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial here a little short tutorial on how to draw clothing but your boy out rate comment subscribe hit that like button hit the bell icon your boy out enjoy the rest of the video